yeah, it's raining right now. And it's making me mad, but I said, fuck it. We're gonna keep mud vlogging. I was gonna do this earlier, back in March. I got 50 subscribers, right? And uh, I actually made a 50 sub subscription video, but it wasn't very good. Like I, like as always, I get off track and I start rambling about shit. So I never really finished it. Like I, I did edit the video and I was like, I am not happy with this. Like it's almost like I could go back out and add about 10 seconds more video to, you know, acknowledge or finish the rest of my thought. I never finished it. So it's like this. I can't leave it like that. I left too many videos like that already. I'm not doing it again. I figured I'd do it now. And now, being the early part of May, uh, I'm at 60 subscribers. You know, there for a minute I was jumping up pretty fast, but then I stopped putting my videos out and I really seen the drag of not really working on my channel. Like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not super popular, all right? I'm not the big dogs. You know who the big people are. And, more popular people you know I, I want to be known like one of my goals in life is just to be I don't want to be famous I just want to be known so I, I want to be that person that everybody knows everybody knows my name so I'm gonna use this video because this video I feel like I'm more prepared mentally physically then I was still a noob writer now I feel like I'm a less of a noob writer you know what I mean we got 60 subscribers. I actually think right now I have 62 to be so, so precise. I guess that doesn't sound like a big number to a lot of people. Like, well, you know, I got thousands. Or you gotta understand, I'm, I'm a moto vlogger, and moto vloggers aren't really the most well-known of species. You know what I mean? Like, even though I stumbled upon on them, I went the entire internet before I ran into them. I had to buy a fucking bike and get interested in one before I really started running into these people. So, and I'm glad I did because you know what? With their help, I really got excited and got pumped. And I'll be honest with you, I can't say it enough. And he doesn't realize. And I've told him and he knows it. So it's if I send him a message, he, he does read it and respond. So it's good because the I'm going to take this time to thank him again. Because he didn't deserve enough. I didn't give him enough credit last time. You know, I was too young and too new to really do him justice. But, you know, last year around May... I was getting a bug. Uh, probably about this time last year. I give it a couple more weeks to go. End of May, it'd be more more lineup about a year ago. But I started reading and watching videos, you know. And I I tell you what, the first night after I discovered the Ninja 300, flipping through my phone and Jalopnik.com had a thing about the CBR 500. And at the bottom, they compared three other bikes. I can't remember the other two, but I do remember one of them was the Ninja 300. I was like, oh, a Ninja 300, and they said the MSRP was like 4700 I was like, oh shit, that's cheaper than this. I really discovered that bikes weren't as expensive as what I thought they were. Because the biggest biggest uh, hiccup for me was just finding the amount of money to do that. I figured if I don't have ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, i am not going to buy a bike. That was just my attitude. Everyone's like, oh, you want a fucking Harley? You're going to need like twenty grand. I don't want a fucking Harley, I want a goddamn sport bike. I remember typing in Ninja 300, you know, review, and there was a, you know, like the Motor Trend type, you know, official review, whatever. But on the suggested videos after the first one I watched, I seen uh, this motor vlogger. It looked like a helmet cam was on there. I was like, what the fuck is this? So I clicked on it, and it, the guy's name was I Am Iron Man. The beauty part about this is, at the time, he wasn't really a super well-known person. He, had, him himself, had just recently purchased a Ninja 300, and uh, he was talking about it. And it was this, this video. I actually just linked the video uh, that got me to it, because he's like chasing this Audi, Audi R8, and uh, he's just going over it. And I was like, this guy's not even reviewing the bike. Like he's just riding the bike, talking. And that's what I loved about it. I was loving the whole like atmosphere what was going on not necessarily the bike although the bike did look cool um, and from that I got linked to riding with Tom everyone's heard of him um, and riding with Tom at the time was only posting up uh, well I mean I hadn't got there yet but I started his early videos and it showed some uh, when he first started out he was riding a Ninja 250R I think it was a 2011 and I was like wow the 2011 looks like shit compared to this 300 
and I went back to Iron Man, Iron Man and watched some of his other videos. He did it for me, like in terms of a, a role model. And he's a young guy. I know he's younger than me. And I don't think he realizes how much he affected my life. You know, I, I try to tell him in, you know, a couple paragraphs, you know, but really you influence me. Like all these other people that I watch and stuff like that, you know, you are the one that affected my life the most. I tell you what, I think right now, like one of the, the best things I can think of, like if there is ever a life goal to do, and I think this qualifies as a life goal only because of the distance in between. I guess a life goal right now would be to, to go to Melbourne, Australia and uh, meet up with I Am Iron Man and just fucking ride. You know, that's all I want to do, hang out for the freaking day or something like that. It doesn't even have to be that great. We can just ride one fucking ride. Take me down through the city, show me shit. You know, I want to I wanna do it. That to me, I'd be like, you know what? It's good. It was totally worth it. Hey, see that? I'm getting a head bearing problem now. Uh, as long as I'm holding it, it's fine. But yeah, it's starting to go, people. You get an inch of 300, you better get that bearing because it's going to happen. I got 6,300 on mine and uh, it's going. So, I mean, it really affected my life in a good positive way. And I'm not trying to get all weird. Some people are always going to take that weird. People can affect your life in so many different ways. And he did. I don't think he realized he did. You know, he was new starting out doing what I'm doing. He was in the exact same place I was starting out. Didn't know what he was doing. But he just did it, and that's all I was doing. And he, because of him, I am motovlogging myself. And I kind of feel like if he's still doing it, I owe him. As much as he affected my life, I owe him the decency to keep doing it and try to do it. So I am Iron Man. Cheers, mate. Someday I want to have a fucking beer with you, and we're going to ride and tear up the streets of Australia. Someday, man. Someday. I guess on that note, uh the whole subscriber thing i'm over 60 subscribers right now as of this video and uh i think let's just take the time right now to, to thank you guys uh thanks for subscribing thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for sharing thanks for commenting it means a lot to me it really does uh and i think the more you know without trying to sound like i just want subscribers but i think the more subscriber base you build the more you kind of feel like you have to work towards it. So, you know, you have one subscriber, ah, fuck them, you know what I mean? But you start getting more, you get the 50, which is like the first threshold for a lot of people. That's when you really start thinking like, okay, do, are we taking this channel serious? I mean, now I'm starting to get other people in on this. So when I start taking and affecting their lives and trying to gain their attention and stuff like that, I, I think I owe it to them to continue. I mean, I still have these trips I want to do this year. Some of these rides I want to do. So there's always stuff to look forward to. I really want to get out there and start meeting people. Not not necessarily, you know, online, but, you know, it, it'd be nice to any local people that happen to run into me, which has been a couple, do some rides with them and stuff. I think that'd be fun. So while following this fucking C7 Corvette, I think we'll, uh, we'll bid our... Uh, goodbyes right here and i think that's good so you guys as always stay cool stay calm stay fun and stay fresh <laughs> this has been ninja boots saying it once again i'll see you on the flip side thanks for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the flip side